Mantle. Welcome to this episode of uh, this is going to be Mantle of No Blasters. The the welcome to this episode of No Blasters. The podcast isn't called This is going to be Mantle, uh, but it is because there's three comedians. We're all a wee bit giddy. I've had cake. It's going to be Mantle. Uh, today's guests are comedy legends William Thompson and Aaron McCann. Thank you for being here. It was a great time. Thank you for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Today's episode. <laughs> Is sponsored by I don't know why that's a <coughs> pleasure to be here. Uh, <laughs> just getting last wee bit of coke. I was no um, <laughs> joking. That's very mean. Anyway, true. Though. I know. Uh, so uh, today's it's funny watching your friends enter the podcast, isn't it? And yeah. yeah, today's I know today especially this is so bad. Today's episode sponsored by Joxer. Um, Joxer is a fantastic bistro. They have locations in uh, Hollywood, Bangor, and Hillsborough. Um, they're open every day. They open from eight until four. Uh, they they sell food. <laughs> Shut the fuck You're up. You're doing great, sweetie. They sell coffees. They have an amazing. Chance. They have an amazing brunch menu. Uh, they also open late Thursdays through to Sundays. So check that out on uh on their website. You can also book tables for those late those late evenings. Uh, at Joxer. <laughs> oh my god. Please book on resdiary.com. This is this is mental. Sir, how this long is, is this fucking? I know it's the worst read I've ever done. So sorry, Joxer. We love you. You love us. Listen, this is the home of Chaffles. This is where you can bring a dog in there if you want to. Bring the kids. It's fine. It's a friendly, accommodating place. Can we you book it. for birthday parties? You can book for birthday parties. You can do whatever you want. They do private events. They are doing cocktail deals at the minute where you can get small plates and cocktail, £25 per person. It's a great time. Go and check that out. Uh, we love Joxer. Today's episode is also sponsored by the very best in Mail Below the Belt Grooming. You can, oh use your, you can do your pits as well if you want it, or your beard. Um... Do your legs. Shave any hair off your body that you want with Manscaped.com. Manscaped.com, this is like, we're talking about like, you know, the weed whacker for your nose and ears. We're talking about the hedger for your beard. We're talking about the handyman for your lines. We're talking about the lawnmower 5.0 for your bag and bits, right? What a, what a sensational uh, place. So get on over. I also, to Manscaped.com, use the code NOBLASTERS20 for 20% off and free shipping. That's all the word, no blasters, number 20, 20% off for shipping. It's a great time. And uh, we love Manscaped. They love us. Also, highly recommend the ball deodorant. Thank you very much, Manscaped. It's spring. It's summer. Get the bag clean, all right? So last thing to tell you about is our Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash no blasters. This is the home of no blasters extra time, a whole other podcast that we put out on Thursday mornings. Uh, we have updates from me that I write myself. You'll get pictures of me at different times. You'll get access what? to tickets and shows before anyone else. Um, we're going to be launching merch on a new website soon. It's all going to happen on Patreon first. So get on over to patreon.com forward slash no blasters. All our comedy specials and our live streams are on there. It's a great time. Let's get stuck in this podcast. What pictures are you people getting? <laughs> so it was a picture of me the other day it was from 2017 when I was in Atlanta, Illinois which is a wee town on Route 66 and I'm standing with a mallet about to smack one of the things that knocks a bell up you know? you're talking like 8x10s, like signed or so subscri oh, no. subscribe for that <laughs> subscribe to see me with her <laughs> you, we've been to this before but you can grow her though, you just shave it <laughs> you, yeah. you have a better hairline than I do I have an amazing hairline I miss the Kerry Bowl do you? Yeah, I miss I, the carry I bowl. I don't miss it. I don't. Do you know what I don't miss? The maintenance. Ah, they're they're looking after. They're what looking was after. the maintenance of the the twank? Fridge. Oh, mate, like, well, people used to think I straightened it, but I just have found straight her. So, like, I think um, the main maintenance was uh, shampoo and conditioner, and and uh, the conditioner is what gives it. So that, maintenance, that you shame. you don't miss washing your hair. <laughs> no, but it was also like then, like in the mornings, I would wake up and when my hair was sort of longish. It would be all over the place. Plus, like, it would get warm and all. You get the wee bits. See, once it would grow over my ears, that used to really annoy me. Yeah, I get it. And, like, you have to, like, deal with it when you're going out. Maybe you're going on stage, your hair. You, like, I look like a wee Fisher Price doll. And so, like, <laughs> I would have to go in the bog and, like, smear it with a bit of water or something. Yeah. And then, like, keep an emo alive, like, in, in 20 fucking 19. Shaved it, isn't it, Matt? I've been doing this since 2020. That's mad. That was four yeah. years ago. <coughs> it is mad. 
<laughs> Are you okay? You... Yeah. I'm a wee bit of a, of a cough. Everybody's it's, sick at the minute. Deep. Everyone's getting it's, sick. It's, it's deep in me. My sister has yet to have a day of good health this year. That's really? She, I think she has like I don't know if it's like long COVID or something, but like she's always sniffling and snooting and fucking. Mate, see the shit I've coughed up in the last couple of weeks. It's it's more mental than the P Diddy case. Like, what a great segue. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Um, <laughs> do you remember? Uh, do you remember the Segway vehicles? Remember them? You know, it was like a, it was yeah. called a Segway. Oh, the thing you fucking. The, did you ever play a game called Happy Wheels? No. You play this. Oh, Not Hot Wheels. No, Happy Wheels, this is definitely around your time as well. Um, <laughs> more than mine, because Ronan, Big Coat, played it, and he's like more your age. Yeah. So um, it's a game where you can be a Segway guy. And it just it, it's a, Basically, they're like wee obstacle course games online, but they always just end in complete carnage. Like this guy got ripped apart and there'll be blood and guts everywhere. Was this a Front Newgrounds part. thing? A what? Was this a Newgrounds thing? <coughs> In that old Newgrounds. fucking Java website? I think it is. A, it's it's like that type of thing. Yeah. Oh, like um, a flash game. Yeah, I, I think remember, I remember this. Skull Kid a lot. Do you remember that game? I don't remember Skull Kid. You go with that? a chainsaw in an office and just chainsaw people. Brilliant. I remember. I remember when get, getting the chainsaw on Doom was a big deal. Never played Doom. Never played Doom. Never. Never. I would the old been ones before or the chain gun. You know, you get the ones like fucking like a you shoot it and it spins. No. It, oh yeah, I know what they are, but no, I would have never played Doom. Like it would have been a. They're still releasing been... Doom games now. Like I mean, it's not for me now. I suppose. No, no. I like games. Is, is this weird? I like games where I shoot people and not creatures or or monsters. That's really why not monsters? I don't like games where I'm shooting monsters. I don't like shooting I monsters. Go, I don't. I don't like a game. Do, do you know like <laughs> Halo? Is is Halo is this still woke shit? You're is on? Halo <laughs> still like the ultimate monster slaying game, or is there other ones? No, I wouldn't regard no, Halo. Grandpa, as Grandpa, Halo is not the big game anymore. <laughs> no, I know it's not. I mean, but it's like you fire know, up the old Sonic the Gears, Hedgehog. There. Gears of War, you know, would have been would have been a thing. Yeah, and then like obviously there are other games that that do this sort of thing. But I'm saying Halo. The Halo franchise is still was, massive, right? No. Yeah, it is. It's not massive. It's massive, right? Oh, no, it'd be pretty... It'd be, like, for a nostalgia factor, but no one's hitting the zipper for a new Halo. Right, like. well, I miss it. That see was see the thing of, of like, there's a monster, or like any of the Resident Evils or anything like that, there's a monster that takes 10,000 bullets to kill it, or what did you call that one? What did you call Mr. it? Mr. X? No, what did you call that fucking game that was out... Silent Hill. It's not this, but I, it, I think it begins with D, I think. Does it? It, Give me some like know, yeah. Dishonored or something is that one? Dead by dead? No. There's also one. No. What? What's the one that I'm thinking of? It's like a. It's like a galactic thing. It's like spacey. <sighs> dead space. No. It, uh, forget the day thing, right? Maybe it begins the one with clue you've given us. Forget about it. it. Maybe it begins with V because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's two of these games. There's two of them, and it's sort of like a cross between Halo and Mac Warrior. Um. Oh, it's gonna annoy Christ out of me. Dynasty Warriors. I definitely had the first one. I thought it was shite, but it's all, and it's only there's two of them. Karen, come on. They for dementia. I I don't so know what bad. the fuck you're talking about. I see if I see if I can Google this. See yeah. if I can Google it. And games you, start with D, but <laughs> games start with D, but maybe not D, but it's no, in space. Gonna, kind of galactic sure. space games begin with V. <laughs> I, I swear, to God, I, I swear to God, see, see if I type First in one, shite. Space game. <laughs> see if you come up with like Space Invaders, I'm smacking you. <laughs> Pong. <laughs> so that's you, like people use that to describe when someone smells. Pong? I they Pong. Oh yeah. I, ju I just associate with that bat and ball game. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. According to the SR, no games begin to move eight now. Hang on. <laughs> Booth, <coughs> booth, strong booth for that club. See, booth, I thought meant to eat something quickly, or like oh, he booth that burger. I think it's pretty fluid in that way. Like uh, you can use it, you know. But someone smelling, you, smelly, you say there's, there's a booth for that. This is so melting that I can't find what this is called. Anyway, do you is, know it what? Worth it? <laughs> is it worth it? Is it what? Is it worth it? Can you work it? Can you flip that thing? And it, reverse it, it? Do you know, it's it's this is a thing that happens to me sometimes where I, I fall down a rabbit hole live. <laughs> like, in, like in here, like in here. It actually Come on, really... the Patreon, subscribe to Kieran on his phone. I know. <laughs> Rabbit will yeah. be a great name for a Patreon exclusive. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you pictures <laughs> from 2017. I'll send you photos. Um, 
new podcast segment, mind that. Uh, we're here in Google's I'm, type, you know, I'm, typing in, I'm typing in sci-fi games. Mind that, where he just gets them wrong entirely. Like Halo. Here we go. Fuck me. Destiny. Ugh. No Destiny. idea. That's what you were... Destiny. And Titanfall, the two of them. Oh my God, they're both shit. Oh, they're both shit. Destiny improved. I will I, give it that. I, I hate Did it, you get it when it first came out and there was yeah. like no content in it? There was nothing there in was it. There was nothing. You, it, it, felt like a, it felt like a Sega game. Yeah. Where, the, where somebody just went, I'm sort of programming this on the side. Do you want to buy it, Sega? And Sega go, here's all our money. Yeah. And like there was a game like this I had when I was a kid. I swapped this game. And Please remember the, the name the, of it. Last, the Last Battle. Right. This game was dog shit. Dog shit. Side scrolling, beat him up, right? And made the sounds of it you know like you've played Streets of Rage which is still a fucking brilliant time right last battle you're a slightly bigger guy and you're just he just walks but the music and it's just going like mm, 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 right? that shite and then bit. as he's walking and when you kick someone and they just they fly completely off the screen like that right? <laughs> and when he kicks someone it just goes womp womp that's the noise it makes Womp womp, and you're like, what year was this? Uh, must have been 93, 94. 93, 94. Like, these are dog shit games, right? I swapped that with a wee lad who was living at the corner of my street up at the top of the hill. I swapped it with him, and I believe I gave him something good. I gave him something of the ilk of, like, a, a fucking... Like a, a Do you have spiral or <laughs> anything know, of the I ilk? think I gave him like I think I gave him like a, a desert strike, which is of the of the strike games, right? The the helicopter games. That's oh, that's yeah. what that game's called. I've always remembered that game but desert never knew strike, what it was Google called. Strike, Urban Strike, did Soviet you, Strike. Did you ever play <laughs> It's not of the Strike Dynasty, Desert Storm, Conflict Desert Storm. I did play Conflict Desert Storm. How good, good was that game? That was a good game. It was multiplayer. That was but yeah, but it was like a it was a shooter, like a Yeah, yeah. Like a was it third third, third person? person? Yeah, and I remember because you could play co-op, so you each control yeah. two members of your squad. But in the first mission, you have to go and rescue your squad from the prison cell. So one person gets to play the game, and the other just dandles about the prison cell for twenty minutes. Yeah, that's What's nice. A fucking see that game? see that last battle thing. I swapped it with Cunt, and he moved. Like they left, and it wasn't like their house was up for sale, and they left. They left, and then the house went up for sale. What a fucking I'm like, Judas! I'm like, you come down here. And claim the fucking warm warm back off me because it's bollocks and I want my my elk back. That would make me think that game's haunted. It if someone's shit. give it to yeah. you and they've moved immediately, yep. something's up. Well, he he lent me that and then vanished with desert. I believe their whole family only moved in to get desert strike off me <laughs> because they were there for only a few months. It was it was mental because I oh mate the strike games were amazing but see see the um. See, there was a game I remember on the original Xbox. It was like a, it was a, a launch title, I think, and it was called Full Spectrum Warrior, which I know sounds like you're. That's sound, what I call you when you're uh, angry. So, <laughs> so like, Spectrum yeah, Warrior. So like, this this game was like, called, this game <laughs> was like, it was a, it was an Iraq Afghanistan style game, yeah. but it was all tactical. You were a commander, and you but you couldn't shoot. It was all tactics. It mm. was which I'm going. I want. Do you know what? This is what's great about like Rainbow Six Vegas, where you can do those levels, just commanding people if that's what you want to do. Yeah. But give me the option to waste the motherfucker, especially if like yeah. if they're if they're trying to waste me. So like, I don't know why I'm talking about it. Like I shoot guns like that. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> You're I, in the battlefield. Well, we need to waste these motherfucking Germans. Right. So yeah. like, here <laughs> Hitler be what, tripping. Here, tell you what. Save, save, save. You want to win the war. You're elect, the man to go y- to? Can I be in your team when we do your stuff? You'll elect, yeah, here. You'll elect this guy to tactical commander. Like, that's what you'll do. You might be the full spectrum warrior. I mean, I am. <laughs> here, I've never fired a shot in anger. I just win wars. You don't shoot you the wound. I mean? Yeah, yeah. I love that line. In shooter, I love that line. What is it? You've no idea. Have we talked about this before? I love that line. I knew I had the key to open up that treasure oh, chest. I love that. You, know you the sound made like I'm on an after. No, that's one of the funniest. That was a good line. No, that is one of the funniest fucking lines, right? Oh, Two mate. liquid deaths. No, <laughs> dude, that is that is one of the funniest fucking lines. Let me finish this. Sorry, see you back back more. It was shite. Just let me say it. It was shite because you'd be ordering people and it was all about flanking, but you had to like, so you've ordered this guy to shoot there and then you order these two cons to walk around there and shoot. Yeah. But if somebody's over there shooting you, 
He was just eating bullets, looking at him, going. <laughs> yeah, it was shite. I'm, I'm, I'm commanding here. So I know. Do you mind? <laughs> um, so like, ladies and gentlemen, please. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so uh, what were we on about? What was the other thing? That line, right? So shooter, right? The movie Shooter with Mark Wahlberg, right? Yeah. So it's very cheesy. There's so much cheese at the start of that. Is movie. that the one where they can curve bullets? No, that's uh, Wanted with J- right. James McAvoy and Angelina Jolie. Right. I've, 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 Sorry, want- this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that called Wanted, that movie? Yep. Full spectrum. I saw it in the this cinema. It wasn't good. Anyway, um, so uh, Mr. Tomless fucking curving bullets. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, so there's a fucking starter for 10 for you now anyway um, I saw James McAvoy band there very nice so uh, in Shooter so at the start there's all these cheesy bits where isn't he called like Rob Lee Swagger or something Swagger Bob Lee, Bob, Bob Lee, Bob Lee. Swagger right what a, what an outrageous name do you know what I mean anyway fucking so he's He's lost his mate. They've been on like a, a a black ops fucking sniper mission at the start. He loses his mate. He gets away, and uh, now he's living in the mountains. And they come to talk him. No, no, I'm not. I'm only. I'm only. I'm doing. I'm, Setting I'm, desert dust. I'm giving you. I'm giving, I'm giving you in exterior. Uh, <laughs> exterior. Uh, Afghanistan desert uh, day. Uh, fading on. So, uh, you're acting so, like you're writing Devil Wars product so, when you're typing it. I can't believe I took a bus for this. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, dude, I love it. I'm just, I'm just buzzing. I know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place. Sorry, but uh, right. So anyway, look, there's just this bit of cheese at the start that I love in this, and then the other bit, right? So the, the bit, of, the bit of cheese. No, the bit of cheese. The the, no, the bit, the, the line. But the bit, the bit of cheese that I love at the start is, Bob Lee knows these guys are, and he, he's taking a picture of their number plate, uh-huh. and he's gonna run, but he's done it like surreptitiously. But he's gonna, he's gonna like put it through his, his computer. He's like, okay, boy. And he keeps talking to his dog. Boy, boy, good boy, boy. Right? And he he, hand, he he shoves a bit of beer into the dog. And I'm like, fuck up, Bob. Right? <laughs> I know you could kick my content because you get up at fucking 3.30 in the morning to do press-ups. But here, shut the fuck up, right? And then there's the bit where, uh, this bit, so they, he goes to see like a ballistics expert. Mm-hmm. They ask him, is it possible to fire a bullet from oh, yeah. a rifle, collect that bullet that's w- without marking it, that's collect that bullet. means I didn't know. With what? I had to look up what surreptitious I was about to crack up because you Can you give me the definition? Surreptitious, like yeah. sort of secretively. In a way that attempts to avoid notice or attention. Yeah. Secretively. Do you think I was just texting while you were talking? <laughs> Hang on. He was slagging me for being on my phone. Anyway. <laughs> no, I was so, like, so, um, uh, so, so he goes to see his plastics expert. He wants to say... He wants to ask him, can you fire a bullet in a way that won't mark it ballistically? And then you collect that bullet and fire it again through another rifle yeah. to make it look like so you can match the ballistics for the second rifle, right? And uh, and in talking, this guy goes, yeah, you know, and he then says to him, by the way, how many shooters in the world could make this type of shot, this mental shot? And he's like, two lads could make this shot and one of them's Bob Lee and the other one is the old Russian cunt Boris the Blade out of Snatch, right? And he goes... Boris the Blade? And he goes... That's his I see Boris the Bullet Dodger, <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently it's just impossible to kill a bastard, right? So anyway... Um, is he mad fucking when he said that? <laughs> Paris. <laughs> so... So he... So he... Uh, he... Uh, he... What do you call it? He... Uh, <laughs> He, he, this guy is this old weird bastard, right? The ballistics Southern, expert, yeah, Southern States guy. And this line, I've built this up too much, but I love it. Is the line he goes, "This guy don't shoot to kill, he shoot to win." <laughs> he says it. I come. Like, <laughs> you say you come? That's so funny. <laughs> it became it became a thing that in this because we went to see that. Me and the boys I was in a band with, we went to see that, and when he said it, we. We all had a very similar sense of humor. So when somebody says a line like that in the movie, everyone else in the cinema is silent. The four of us are like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love that me 
makes you come. You come in for a romantic night, dim the and lights, light becomes, the candles, stick on shit. And then it became like a thing that we would say <laughs> yeah. about about nearly anything. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Fucking guy, we we order a fucking Chinese guy comes to deliver it. You're like knock at the door, and you're like, "This guy don't shoot the kid." <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> I just swear with somebody else. When did that movie come out again? That was fucking like 2008 or something. They should bring it back with um, Liam Neeson they have a, they and called Big Shooter. They made a, <laughs> <laughs> they made a they made a um they made a, a TV show. Bring it up, bring it back with Alec Baldwin. This boy don't shoot the wound. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Shoots to kill. Yeah. This guy don't act the wound. <laughs> True method acting from Baldwin. <laughs> oh yeah. Did you hear? Take someone's life. Uh, well, you're, uh, the 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 armorer on that movie apparently he's getting done with um or, or got done did you with uh, manslaughter? I thought he was just getting done for manslaughter. Mood, just to completely no, he's he he was cleared. I mean, yeah, he, he should be free ball. Yeah, did he really do anything? Apparently, no, no, the, it's the that's the armorer's fault. Like, yeah. I yeah. mean, I think I think she's yeah, just to completely wreck the mood. But um, how many fags do you think he smoked that day? <laughs> <laughs> Two packs, like easy two packs. Yep, That's yep. two pack territory. That's his favorite rapper as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting there, man, like fuck's sake. <laughs> it's not funny about Baldwin just Imagine playing <laughs> all eyes on me, yeah, yeah. weapon through fags. <laughs> Imagine showing up late to the set that day. You get there and Baldwin's just in the middle, just like, <laughs> yeah, good day. He's smoking like Hitler, taking his glasses off, just. <laughs> yeah. or just me. Right. Um. <laughs> Those are your words, William. Uh, <laughs> Do you know what's a movie I've seen? I shouldn't love it. Have you seen John Cena's new movie? No, what's it With called? Andrew Santino. No. Ricky Stenecki. No, what's it on? Uh, Is Ricky Stenecki the name of the movie? Amazon Prime. Yeah, it's called Ricky Stenecki. It's on Amazon Prime. Is it good? It's really silly. It's quite funny. Action movie? No, it's a comedy. So the idea is there's the <laughs> best group of friends that have invented, anytime they want to go do something, say they want to go watch a bit of baseball, they go... Ricky Stenicki's in trouble with we'll the go they've invented oh, this character. Right, okay, that's funny, but yeah. then they have to hire John Cena to play him. Right, okay. But the, there's just a it's bit the, it's the Remington Steel effect. Yeah, yep, there's this bit that just <laughs> fuck off. What? <laughs> that's the thing. Remington Steel Yeah, it's the Ren and Stimpy effect. And when he if they find John Cena, it's this montage that makes me laugh every time. They find him working in a bar. And his job is he's a, a like a parody artist where he takes every famous song ever made and makes it about wanking. And Sounds like uh, my next set. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, there's just a bit that makes me crack up because it cuts to he's like, I don't want to go back to my old job and it cuts to him dressed as boy George and he's like, come, 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 and then I come in my sock again. It's filled with loads. <laughs> That's good. So Dude, I, I love Cena in films. He's, he makes me smile I like every him time. In, uh, was, he, was he in uh, da Daddy's Home or He's whatever? in Daddy's Home, yeah. the second one. Aye, aye, because he shows up at the end of the first one, doesn't he? Aye. Yeah, he's also, what's the movie? Blockers. Oh, I just haven't he's seen the that. drug dealer, has the big suitcase. I, I need to and see And he that. just lists all the drugs he have. It's, he's like, MDMA, Molly, meth, amphetamine, coke, ket, shit that'll make your dick hard, shit that'll make your dick soft, shit that'll make you find your dick. I like, fuck, I got Flintstones gummy if you want them. It's so, it's like a fucking two minute long list of all the drugs. What it's is so shit funny. that'll make your dick soft? I don't know. I Must be know. like anti Viagra. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? Like, if you've taken Viagra, it must undo the Viagra. Not your mother, your father said. <laughs> <laughs> she's been married four, yeah. married four times. Well, That's Viagra, all she's, Viagra. Married, she's married the Uncle Victor. <laughs> Victor is <laughs> a great euphemism for getting a root. <laughs> <laughs> I have a vicious vector. <laughs> I know that's, that's, I know that's yeah. we should invent this. Yeah. Put up and go, lads of Uncle Victor's coming uh, next week. Guys, I need to sit down. Uncle Victor's came to visit. I'll be up in a minute. Hey, speaking of films, have you seen. Uncle Victor! I need, I need to Sydney Sweeney gives me a massive Victor. <laughs> oh, Sydney, Sydney Sweeney might be the Victor of the year right now. That's a, that's a once in a lifetime right, right, Victor. Yeah, a lot of people are, seem to be saying this. Like, you're not the first last. Are you about to have a hot take here? <laughs> you're about to have a hard victory right here. Kieran. It's not for me. Kieran. Kieran. Whoa, <laughs> fuck off. Come on, Kieran. Right? Do you know why I think. She I sat there, she's like, Kiri, let's play some fucking Desert Strike top off. You're not into it? <laughs> I'm also like, here, let's play some Desert Strike. I'd be like, Do you want, have you got Last Battle? <laughs> the idea of you flashing the marriage ring to Sydney Sweeney is like, I'm going to have dreams about that today. No, but no, do, do you know what it is, though? I, I just, do, you want, do you want my hot take? I want your hot take. Right. 
Make it hot. This is ha- this has happened a few times, I think, uh, with with certain celebrity uh, crushes of, of that, that are generally accepted. Mm-hmm. Where I'm sort of like on the outside of it, going, "That's weird to me." Okay. And I think I think with this particular one, because this happens, it it usually happens with uh, men, the women all fancy. I think people. And you're not into them, or no, but or, or they're not, but they're not classically good looking. Right. I don't think she's classically good looking. This is my no. What, listen, what you, okay, no, 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 this is my I'm hot listening. take, William. It's I'm not listening. yours. I'm listening. All right, I'm listening. here's my hot take. I I think, and I know this is mental because as I th- oh, as I I think I think that she's at a level that is like like I uh, say. Like Lisburn level of like obtainability. Like you can just go, you could go out with somebody that looks like that if you wanted to. And I think that's why people fancy her. Because they're going, they're actually fancying her talent and the fact that she's in all these movies. They don't really fancy her that much. That's usually. I don't know what she does. What? <laughs> I, don't I don't know, know what she does. does. <laughs> no, do you know what I mean? I haven't even seen her face. Because I, I think she's, I just think it's very average. I, I think she's very average looking. I can't Very believe average. you just said the Here, phrase I'm Sydney sure, Sweeney I'm sure is she's Lisbon 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 attainable. I'm sure <laughs> Lisbon attainable. I'm sure she See, gives the, a fuck. I need to move to Lisbon once just Sydney Sweeney's kicking about. Yeah, I didn't know Lisbon was the land of the Milky Diddy. There's no there's nobody with a surname Sweeney living in Lisbon. <laughs> like no do you know what I mean? Sydney living in Lisbon. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's like uh <laughs> it's hap- it happens with male actors. Women are like, oh my god. I, uh, Ryan Gosling, not not a classically good looking guy. Women are like, yeah. <laughs> they fancy the talent. They like, fancy the spirit of that what, person. That, that's what they say. Jenna Ortega is like, a good, shankle seven. <laughs> good, good looking wise. Mate, Go- Gosling is like fucking. He's like lower down. He's like fucking Bush Mills. Gosling. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Go- Gosling looks. Like, Gosling looks as in like, the sauce. Yeah, Go- <laughs> Gosling looks like a lad. Gosling looks like a lad who who works for like Price Waterhouse Cooper here. <laughs> he does. He's, he doesn't look like a movie star. George Clooney looks like a movie star. Brad Pitt looks like a movie star. You are stuck in the early two thousands. No, no. Do you know no. what? I kind of right. There's other I'll, people. I'll give you this. There's other people. I think. I know what you might be talking about. I think you're talking about aura. I think people fancy like their aura. They fancy the, they fancy that. They don't fancy that. They they don't. Uh, they're not classically good looking people. Who's you're telling me goes on a drive. I don't think he's handsome. I don't think he, he's not. A, it's not for me to say. He, don't, he doesn't give you a vector, is what you're telling me. I don't. Oh, Andy Viagra yeah. stays, <laughs> stays in the house, right? Who's top five vectors in Hollywood right now? <laughs> In your opinion, oh, what do you call a girl that uh, Mamma Mia, Amanda Seyfried? Oh, I, I, I <laughs> hats off in the house when Amanda Seyfried is in. No. I have terrible actor actress knowledge. I don't. I know like in five. She's in Ted too. I probably am no, stuck in the early two thousands to be fair. But Yo, like, listen, Amanda Seyfried don't do it for you. No, who does? Helen Mirren. No, I'm gonna go. See if you hit me with like Marilyn Monroe or some shit. Uh, no, that would be no. That's way too long ago. No, she'd receive it in any era. Not now. I receive it. <laughs> yeah, it's a just different come, thing. Coming right? to the door, Amazon guy handing a hand, <laughs> handing you over to her in a, in a wee, a wee envelope that you rip open at the top, and you're just like, you ready to receive this? Hello, Amazon. Yeah, my Monroe arrived busted. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dead? Um... Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's all good. <laughs> no, that wasn't. That was bad. I shouldn't have said that. I, I, I don't really have any uh, celebrity uh, crushes right now. I don't think. You do. I, I used to. I used to. I, I definitely. I, I like Rachel McAdams. I think she's great. Shastain, maybe Shastain. Jessica Shastain. You could throw that in there. Scott I mean, is. I mean, she. Johansson? Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah. Married yeah. to Colin, Colin Cla- Jost. See, but Scarlett Johansson, classically good-looking movie star type. That's that's that look. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah, but you're going back, aren't you? Like uh, Jennifer, I, I was about to make the nineties joke that we can't make anymore about her name. But anyway, the, well, it's the nineties joke. Well, you just say Chewitt instead of Hewitt, but you you, you take a comma. Oh, it's you, ta- you take a comma after Jennifer. So say it, Jennifer, Jennifer comma Love so, Chewitt. So, oh, sorry, you take a comma after Love. <laughs> after you do. Take a comma after Love. Jennifer Love Chewitt. That's what they call Jennifer me. Love. That's like, that's like call me. my dick the Love Chewitt. Yeah. So, Small, flavorful, and will be in your gums for days. Yeah, I'd probably have the same diameter as a chute, like on average. <laughs> mine's really? like, mine's yeah, also like, square. So. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird, T- weirdly like, red. W- weirdly tastes like synthetic strawberries. <laughs> yeah, we got um, Minecraft cocks. 
What was he saying? <laughs> we got Minecraft cocks. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, right, so, um, Mineshafts? <laughs> Mineshaft, unbelievable. That's what a German would call it. Mineshaft. <laughs> unbelievable. On, on the topic of films, right? Have any, has anybody in this room seen Dream Scenario with Nicolas Cage? No, not yet. No, nope. you gotta see it. Is it good? It's fucking mental. He's doing mental stuff right he, now. This Pig, is crazy. Was that one? The, the unbearable weight of imag- the impossible weight of unbearable talent, or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah. The unbearable weight of massive talent. Yeah. 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 It's basically the whole film is people are having these dreams and everybody's dream, Nicolas Cage appears, but he's just like walking about. Like he serves no purpose in the dream. <laughs> he's just there. <coughs> and then he becomes famous for this. Right. And the scientists are trying to figure out how the fuck has this happened. But then the dreams turn to nightmares. Right. But in the middle, they turn to sex dreams. And this one dot, like he's going to like an advertising company and they're like, we're going to get you like a deal with Sprite, you know? And uh, this doll's in the elevator and she's had like fucking sex dreams about him. And then she asks him to go back to her gaff and like recreate it. And he's all like awkward and old. It's absolutely fantastic for you. And he, li- I've never seen this before in my life. He, pardon my French, he scoops her blurt. Like she's sitting on the sofa and he just palms it. And sh- this doll is like... She's going crazy over it. If you, if you were, if she you got were caged. To, if you were, to, if you were, if you were to scoops her blurt. I know. If you were, if you were to describe, he scoops her blurt like he's scooping. What would you say? Like a like you know whenever. Do you ever have to pick up a bag of sand? <laughs> <laughs> or you've got like yeah. a tub of poo, der, poo bears delight in the freezer, but like and you, you eat know. it with your burr. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's like a layer of ice on it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> So it's like hard to get at, so you got to chalk the nails yeah. in there. Also, everyone on this table would need ice cream with a bar hands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, 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 I could do that. I could do that for you. Yeah. I ruined my cousin's birthday party one time because everyone was out the front playing, like on the bouncy castle, and I came in, there was an ice cream tub. I just fucking yeah. sat You were 24, like, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bear hand? Yeah. Bear hand. I was like fucking Love 13. Just, my, my uncle came in and just went, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, oh. Sir, as, all right, here's a question for you, right? What's the worst thing you've ever been called eating? How many digestives, right? <coughs> and it, like, say you've a sleeve, right? And mm. it's been bust open. I already. enjoy that. Bust the, open. I enjoy the use of sleeve and the bust open. <laughs> right? So. Bust them Bickies for a real player. <laughs> Chloe, bust that bust sleeve of digestives in there. Yeah. How many <laughs> digestives are in the packet to where it goes into not finishing the packet territory? What do you mean? Like, if they're open, they're getting finished. If I, I, I'd be honest with you. See, are we talking about chocolate biscuits here? Milk chocolate digestives. Well, see, I, I, per- I personally prefer the dark. So let's let's go dark. Like, I, I, no, I mean, I like eating the milk chocolate ones in the dark. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, I like the dark chocolate ones. You got the night vision with a glass of milk. The only so, light is coming from so Shooter it's, on it's the TV. The sleeve, it's the sleeve that's about that length. <laughs> Why are you giving me the dimensions? <laughs> no, because because if you buy plain digestives, it's longer. <laughs> you want full art attack with that? <laughs> Slosh your PVL and you don't have to be neat, right? You're not right? building an art. You're just telling us how many biscuits you're having. <laughs> if, I, if I open that, there is a danger that'll go. Now, so I don't buy biscuits. Right, so, but like... There's a danger. Like, how many in a sleeve, though? Like, to where you're like, I can't, I can't demolish the whole pack. I I'd, I'd thought, you know, the, the thought doesn't occur to me that way. The thought would be, I'm a disgrace if I do this. Yes. And then I do another two, and I go, now there's only four left, or five left. Yeah. So you, it would be rude to leave them. Do you ever hate it as you're eating? You're going, you're fuck. Because I do this, I'm I like, do, I'm fuck. Night. I'm literally in the mirror going, you're a fucking disgrace. I had, a wee, I had a wee day yesterday, right? So see, at the start of the year, I'd lost some weight, right? Mm-hmm. And then I got sick. And then I started eating shit again. And I've struggled for, say, six weeks of eating shit, mm-hmm. right? It happens. And I weighed myself. And I've only gained a pound off all the pounds that I'd lost. So I'm basically fucking down for the year. And I went, I'm taking that as a win. I'm back on it, right? And then yesterday, I had a day where I actually was looking up symptoms of tapeworm. Because I believed I had one. Because I felt like no matter what I put in, I was going, I'm starving. Like actually, like I'm actually hungry. Whereas a lot of the time when I eat, I'm not actually hungry. I'm just bored or yeah. I'm doing something. Or you're, like I'm I like to watch or I'm watching something, yeah. so I'll do that. So like with this, it was literally like why? Like I've just eaten my lunch. Why am I 
why do I feel like I need a sandwich? Yeah. And it went on all day. So yesterday was a disgrace. I had you, a lot of bread just. Do you have tape room? Tape room? I don't think so. See, one of the things I gained weight with, and this is ridiculous, is I went through a bout of insomnia, and the only thing that would make me sleep would be to eat like six rounds of bread, like toast, and then I would get so full of bread I'd fall asleep. Yeah. Because the I, I don't want to start doing sleeping tablets. Yeah. I don't trust myself with yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I know, agree. You don't want, yeah. I've seen too many rappers. I, I bread is, yeah. Bread's a good, a good sleep inducer. I tell you what my what I used to do, right? And this was a frequent occurrence. Like, this is the whole way through primary school, the whole way through secondary school, Pop right? Zans? He, this is worse than Pop and Zans. This is, <laughs> this is a kid quicker than Zans, right? Boston Slaves? He used to come home. Like, we're talking a half one in the morning, right? And my ma used to come down to my room and just, like, the only way she could possibly wake me up would be to take her knuckles, her bony fucking knuckles, and just <laughs> up my head like that, right? So that's how I woke up, right? So you wake up, you're like dusty eyed, right? And yeah. then my ma goes, get down here, your father's got fish and chips. So I used to go down at half one in the morning, eat a full fish and chips that's or great. like burger and chips, but then immediately go back to bed. And then the next right, day I yeah. woke up and I was doing like fucking long division. <laughs> You're doing builder shits at the age of seven. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my dad did it because my dad used to be a big stoner, so he'd <coughs> come in from work, start smoking up. So about half twelve at night, the Chinese gets phoned, and I would be woken from my sleep. My dad would just come into my room, and be like, "I've half a half a chime in there if you want it," and I would get up, just sit and watch Jackass with my dad, eat a full Chinese, and then go well, back to sleep. I remember. Story. I know. I remember. You're just taller than me. Night. So towards so when when my when. I have to, I have two, I have two stories here, right? So one is a disgrace, a disgraceful time that I had one time. I was about eleven, and I'd had pasta for dinner. We had had pasta, and uh, um, there was like a load of it left, and I sort of was like, you know, looking at it, it's looking at me. Yep. We started talking, right? And then I go over, and I sort of, I scoop myself out, essentially what you might describe as double dinner here, right? Another, I felt like, I felt like, I felt on this particular occasion, my dinner was like a scoop light. So I thought. <laughs> so you were serving yourself justice? I thought, there's justice. There's, <laughs> there's a scoop for justice. There's a scoop punitive. For reparation? A punitive scoop for you. Yeah. Repar a, a reparation, a reparation scoop. scoop of pasta. And then here's a scoop. Here's a scoop where I'm in your debt, right? <laughs> the debt scoop, right? The debt scoop, right? yeah, yeah. So I, uh, so I three scooped it, right? And I sat down, I'm having a, I had a, wee, a second wee bowl of fusilli, whatever, right? Great days. And then one of our boys comes in from work, I think our, our, our Declan comes in from work, and my ma goes, there's pasta there for you. And I was like, <laughs> how quickly can I shit this out and wash my shit off it right like so grim and I'm like oh man I get slayed fat but there was there was a time I remember my, my dad like so when, when he was ill one, one, towards the end as well one of the things was like he, he was losing his sense of taste so he would want to eat things that were like really strong Mm -hmm. So like he would he liked pineapple and stuff like that, but then he would I don't make any pineapple jokes. And then he would he would want uh potato cheese and onion. And my dad wasn't really a big crisp guy, it wasn't his thing. But he really started to have this mad fucking hankering for potato cheese and onion. And um I remember one night I came in from doing a gig. This is like I I came in late, like it was like fucking one in the morning or whatever. And my dad just comes down the stairs and goes, Here, do us a favor, will you? And I thought he's gonna say Fucking, you know, make more noise when you're coming in or something, you know. And he just goes, and I goes, yeah. And he goes, uh, go down to Creighton's and get me a 12 bag, a 12 pack of potato cheese and onion, will you? And I went, right. Like, now? Nah? And he goes, yeah. And I went, right. So I go down, I get him it, I bring it back to him. I've never seen a man. And my dad wasn't like this. Yeah. He just made he demolish like nine bags of them. Like, I mean, like. Easy. Like, just sitting there. Didn't talk, wasn't watching anything. Was just sitting in the living room. Yeah, he had a potato vector. Finished. <laughs> he had a potato vector for <laughs> sure. <laughs> Twelve bags yeah. is two order. And he left. He left. He left like two or three bags. And I was just looking at him, going, "It's weird how Can when I, I see them? when I <laughs> <laughs> so, sandwich for me." You ain't got my 12 pack. I'm like, there's three bags. I'm like, there's three bags there. 
if I don't put that in four rounds of bread, I'm never going to sleep tonight. So Crisps before bed, though, like that's bar with happiness from tomorrow. Like, it, cri- it, it, is, it, is. it is. Crisps are my shelter from the world. Yeah. They, they are I, a safe place. Do you, know, do you know what I'm telling myself? A nutritionist told me that if you're going to have crisps, the ones that have are hula hoops. Re, re, uh, red hula hoops, the, the plain ones. Yeah. Mate, I'm, I'm, I'd I'm, lick carpet. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Nah, the red hula hoops. I would only let carpet if there if there was red hula hoops on it. Give someone. I know, yeah. Oh, not, yeah. Not, not in crumbing puss. I'd rather I'd rather crisps. munch rug than do that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like actual. There'd be more flavour in my carpet <laughs> from the remnants of my feet. Unbelievable. You could probably get a decent strong enough out of my carpet. <laughs> so the, the remnants. Yeah. <laughs> The only copy was great in this. Oh, <laughs> the yeah. remnants of feet. <laughs> I fuck it. Oh man, I hated that movie so much. The remnant. Oh shit. I shite. went hammered to see it and sobered up by the end. It was. Do you know? Do you shite. know? It was fucking brilliant. The bit, the bit when they attack the camp, and the 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 way they shot that was like you felt like you were in the middle of it. It was fucking yeah. brilliant. See, apart from that, that movie so long. It's trash. And you're not a Tom Hardy fan, sure you're not. Me and you disagree. Although the line "I can do that for you" is. Uh, a thing that I would say regular and I just go, I can do that for you. <laughs> Tom Hardy, though, Uncle Victor or Auntie Viagra? Auntie Viagra. Uh, Uncle Victor. Really? Uncle Victor. Un- Auntie Viagra? Who's Auntie Viagra? Like, I'm confused. How have you got to mention? No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Tom, what about Tom Hardy? I don't know what you just <laughs> said. Did they make your dick harder, sir? Oh, no. Oh, no. Aunt, <laughs> Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Viagra. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you got to me. I don't get What's it. What's going on here? I don't get it. You got a fucking ninja too. Do you want a hot dicks right now? I don't. I'll say this. Man, he's Uncle Vector. Right, and he's no. staying for the weekend. Here's what That's say, Tom right? Hardy for he's, me. Like. I, this is what I will say genuinely. He does look like a movie star. I've said, I said this to you. We were just talking. As if like I phone you up and be like, let's talk about Tom Hardy. <laughs> we were talking about him the other day. I was saying, I think that he's like, I think he's, I think he's a brilliant actor. But I think he, I think he's, I think he acts too much and everything. So like every role he's done, he's nearly every role he's done that I any anything I've seen apart from one or two bits, like he's in Band of Brothers, very small part, and he's really good in it. But everything else I've seen him and he's always oh, it's always over the top. It's always like a big it's Bronson, it's fucking what do you call it? But, but uh, you have to be or if you're playing <coughs> Bronson. No, no, that, that, no is, that, that is that is different. But then the craze, everything else. I right? thought he was brilliant in that. I hated that movie. Everything else. I, give me the version with the guys from Spandau Ballet in at the camps, right? Anyway, so Fuck, like, really? Yeah. You don't like the shootout is a fucking shootout. It melts me. Like a western. It you don't like me. that? No, it melts me. Too busy in your fucking panic making fairy cakes. It's all just too much. Nonsense. I'm looking at him. I'm Nonsense at him to going, a man, Rich. I'm looking at him going, Tom, see when you can act 12 out of 10. Bring it back a bit and give me a ten. That's what I like. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want too much. I want the right amount. This Unless may be the thing about me pasta, and you disagree which case, on the most. I will eat other people's. That pasta. and Kanye. <laughs> that and Kanye West are the two things me and you disagree on. Oh, what's the Kanye take? Hit him with your. Fucking put the oven gloves he's, on. For he this says hot he's take. the greatest of all time. Didn't and I say, say he's that. Not. Didn't say he's the greatest. I said he's up there. You said he's up there. Sorry, this is a conversation. We went greatest of all time. We went with bollocks. And you went well. He's up there, and I went with bollocks. He is up there. You what what is up there? I mean, top five ever? Top ten ever. For me, personally. He'd probably be in the top ten, like, yeah. Of of people that you'd go to for a listen? Yeah. Like, he, he, I'll be no, honest No, I, I mean in the genre, like, not even, like, subjectively. I, I don't oh, say well, I mean, in his, Three or four. In his like, genre, he's had, he's had a lot of success. Yeah. But genre I, shift I, in albums. I, I feel like a lot of that stuff, though, I, I feel the over-reliance on other people's work melts me but he, he does it it's not like he just copy and paste it he changes it and he, he molds it himself do you, know, do you know how easy it is to redraft something instead of to come up with it the first time oh god you make my beautiful dark twist I don't need to there, I'm, I'm, you do I, it. I don't need to do that I'm too busy creating my own art William. are you are you sting are you I don't here I haven't done anything that's I, I, I have influences you don't see me sitting there no I'm not room. saying you're copying sting I'm being like you're you're being like I'm in a video He's brilliant, Kanye's I, great. I um I bathe in the music of JS Bach. That's what I do. Guys. That's my best thing impression. Guys, by the way. Let's get back to the meat of the pod. How many digestive biscuits? Sorry. <laughs> I, I believe I, I, I like if I'm having them, I'm doing them in fours. And if I have three fours, that's a, I'm feeling like an absolute mess. But at that stage, I mean how many do you even get in a packet these days? Well how many's a serving? Four for you? 
I'll, 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 do you know what I'll do? I'll start off with two, and then I'll Two's end up going, and then, I, and then I'll go. It's a four, really, though. The two's, first one's a tastener. Two, two's sensible. Three's generous. The, the, four's on the greedy side. I think. I think. So it takes seven. I think one of them, one of them is a palate cleanser from whatever you've been doing that day, munching rug. The next one. <laughs> The next Not one, digestive. Uh, I need to get that yeah, funny out of my breath. The next one, the next one, is your first. You know, this is a good time for me. The third one is, I'm in the my second serving here, and I'm saying I, I feel good. The fourth one is, this is where self loathing starts. Yeah, I fat lapsed hard last night, and uh, <coughs> you what? I fat lapsed because like right. I, I've this been eating like pretty good. Meeting for fat lots? It is. It fucking is. I'm bearing my soul here. But like there last night. There was sex in the pack. Oh shit! Oh Some shit! Boys. There he is. What's happening? <laughs> what's up, boys? Shane, 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 what's a good serving? Yeah. How of many? What? See if you have a packet of digestives, right? Yeah. And the sleeves busted open. Yeah. How many? <laughs> w- how many do you go right? I can't finish that pack. Seven. Seven. Yeah. I had sex last night. Oh, I thought I was fucking digestive behavior. Yeah. Milk chocolate. It doesn't matter. Like whatever you're fine. I, sh- I shouldn't be left with the packet in front of me. So I yeah. get. <laughs> You you know I'm cool, right? I have gluten free hot knobs. There's a packet has five on either side. Uh-huh. I used to have four at a time, but I hate that there was one I know, yeah. left. Yeah. yeah. So now I have five. See, see what I would Hi, do. Lads. Yep. Good Thanks, man. Uh, thanks, man. See, what I like. Are you, are you, were you on Strava? You sound like winded or like out of breath? The stirs. Oh, okay. You're looking well. <laughs> You're looking well, mate. Thanks, man. You are looking great. I just got a haircut. It looks it good. Looks great. Yeah. How's the episode going? Great. Really good. Yeah. I'm, glad, we're glad, I'm glad you're here, though. He doesn't think Sydney Sweeney's hot. I'm just not into it. You, you don't either, I bet you. <laughs> Why are you so aggressive? No. <laughs> I, you don't hear it. You gay wee bastard. He, he, he didn't bang her sexy. <laughs> he didn't. I hear it when you... Stop <laughs> calling me her. Right. <laughs> you, you. I look a bit like her. What? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine her neck's the same diameter. Like. Yeah, but you... As, as your whole body... <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I I don't I don't believe that you like that either. I don't believe I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I, I don't believe that he's in, in the her either. But, but I, I struggle with like the idea of like oh female celebrities being sexy. They're just they seem like aliens. You know what I mean? Like they're just I don't she, mean she, she said or oh, sorry. He said that <laughs> sorry, no disrespect. <laughs> he said that Sydney Sweeney and I quote was Lisburn obtainable. <laughs> I, I mean, you could go to Lisburn and find somebody that looks like her and go out with her if that's what you wanted to do. Do you know? I, I, you I could. Think, like, Maybe you don't got him. your point, but I think she's I think she's very natural looking. I really hurt my head in the brim of your hat. <laughs> so you fully have. I know. <laughs> that's for saying I fancy That's the new primary school, school ground bullying. <laughs> well, who, <laughs> who, do, who do you, what, what girls do you like? No, no, this is what I said. I, I, Baby Spice? <laughs> Baby spice or ice spice? I was always I was always more of a of a um a posh spice guy. Right? Back in the day. I was a scary spice man. I like oh, you spice. like the head rackers? Mm. I like yeah. sporty spice because like the idea I could have played like football with her. Yeah. <laughs> like gone out with her and played football with her, yeah. you know, passing passing about in the garden. Yeah. You get a game. You'll get a game. Yeah. yeah. You're spot on with that McKay love a head racker. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Ruin my life, please. Game recognizes the game. Do you want yeah. something yeah. Go, go, go. Um, get a wee get a wee Selena Gomez on the go them free lads. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Sir, this is giving me an anti <laughs> yeah. I'm the local comedy diddy. <laughs> local comedy diddy. Well, like, well, like, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Maybe be more side on. <laughs> is, 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 <laughs> Sir, that's insertion. I know that's that's ring on <laughs> deck. That's what that is. That's what that is. Uh, uh, Uncle Vic <laughs> Uncle like, Victor's ring. Like Pinocchio. <laughs> Like Pinocchio? Yeah. Be more like, I don't know what that means. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, like I'm riding a horse? No. Like I'm a girl on the back of a horse? <laughs> oh, that Pinocchio. All right. <laughs> I thought you meant to tell like a mirror. There's one you just reminded me, Willie. There's one. Beyonce. Fabulous. Pretty love it. Sure. She's yeah. great. Yeah, I Jack. Need yeah. I love now her. Now you're back. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I regret the boner. <laughs> the Don has. Sorry. Cameras are getting smashed. Whatever. Um, What have you on today? I just got my haircut. Good times. I'm doing some pods. Lovely. What's your go-to haircut? What do you say when you sit in the chair? Does he know by now? I say Coco. That's his name. Give me Ripley and Alien. <laughs> oh my I don't god! That is. Damn. Sigourney Weaver. I actually say Express Yourself. Oh. I just let him. He knows what to do. Like. Yeah. You know? 
That's what I say when I'm commanding people on a tactical shooter online. Express yourself. Guys, express yourselves. <laughs> but also, take this take this hill for me. When yeah. I'm being serious, when we do Comedians are soft, I want to be on your team. You should be on my team. I'll be the wild card. I'll Guys, do, no I'll, more. I'll do Let, the let's just get show. back to telling jokes. Are you, are you coming to it? No. No. Here, no, listen, no more. No, it's not to film it. I don't want to film it. I don't want to film it. It's just for fun. I just want to okay. play it. Sorry, okay. do you know what? No, I'm not having this, right? Because Fucking it's Comedians design. Airsoft yeah. live at the waterfront hall. That, that would have <laughs> been, been, been great about going out in sporty space. She'd be up for Comedians Airsoft. I... I tried. I, I texted the big comedians group the other day and said, She's pretty fit. And, and, and I said, and by that I mean it's a, it's a group filled with comedians. I said, no Yeah, I don't mean like it's a, you know, because it's not like the, you know, the big comedians group, which sounds like it's just like, you know, <laughs> me and Dave and fucking, anyway. I'm to say that's Dave. harsh. Anyway, right. <laughs> I don't know. Leave me alone. <laughs> um, so I know. Sorry, slide. Dave. Add it, add it is like, sorry. Is nasty? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Nasty so, people. You, you and Dave aren't fat. What does this mean, Shane? What? What? What does that mean? I mean, I don't like it when you say that. What? That I'm fat? Yeah. Why? Because we feel sad. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> I try. I said. I said to all the comedians that went here, who's up for going for a comedians or a soft day? And I think I think most people I think assumed that it was to be filmed. Yeah, yes. but I but I didn't mean that. I just wanted it to be. I a, just want to play ourselves. A fun day out with all of us, um. But we'll try to do it where <laughs> it's it's private for us, and not like you know that you're gonna be in the middle of like a, another stag do or something or, or another stag do. <laughs> that's yeah, another go, one. People go or soften. There's loads. There's loads of stag do's. Go do it. No. <laughs> we would make a great stag do. That'd be a great stag. This group right here. here. Nobody yeah. even needs to get married, right? We'll just have bro time, a right? I'm trying to do something T-shirt nice. T-shirt shagger on the back. Not... <laughs> <laughs> trying to do something nice, and everybody's like, "No, I don't want to be filmed, Kieran." Uh, yeah. You're like, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I didn't even see that message. I've I've had I've had these conversations with a couple of people. I want to play some. How are you going to film it? And why why would you film this? And I go, I don't even think I want to. I think I just I just want it to be able to cry. You have your own yeah, that guns, I'm you? down for. You have your own guns. I do you know what I'm going to do? I'm, if I'm filming anything, it'll be me the night before selecting my arsenal at my own house. Oh my god! But you have a wee wall that opens up. I yeah, I, like I, used to, your elbow. I used to keep them all on a guitar stand. I don't anymore. <laughs> oh, you're- like Rambo. <laughs> no, I like that. It was, a, it was, a, it was like the you know in, in Commando when Arnie. None of you will know this when he goes into the room, and he goes so many good ones. Do you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's not easy to choose. Like no, all right. <laughs> That's what I say when I'm a Jenna Jenna. Jenna Jenna. It isn't easy to choose. Is that so a I'll Chinese? Yeah. No. Right. Used to be like it's gone. No, but I also do you know where my do you know where my brain's at today? I'm going trying to get a calzone of China China. In my head, no. Shut up, because in my head I'm going, is that a Chinese restaurant or strip club? Do you think that's that's what I'm? Because I'm going, what joke is he making? Is he saying there's loads on the menu in a Chinese or there's loads of strippers? Karen thinks the first China cancels out the second. So it's just neutral. No, but if if I go to you here, we're going to China China. That could either mean we're going for a Chinese, which. Probably, yeah. or it sounds like the name of a fucking strip club. Do you think McCormick's going when he's in a strip club? It's, he's like, oh, I don't know who to make it rain on today. Is yeah, you I, 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 yeah. pay extra to unpixelate them. <laughs> I, I have had strip club buffets before. Like, oh my God. I, I've never yeah, been in a strip club. During the day, because I was hanging, it was just like, it's basically KFC chicken. Like, Do you know what? Sad, we've like, talked about this before, but see Golden Corral in America if you want cheap epic oh, chicken. Sorry. Like, and I don't know. They need to tell the car. They made you at the door of a strip club, <laughs> taking off a jacket to the buffet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just opposite circus, circus. Yeah. What a dump. <laughs> what do they do there? Is, 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 no, is circus, circus a strip club? Is it? No, circus, circus is a hotel. All right, okay. What is circus name? What's the strip club that I'm thinking of? That has like two names. Stringfellows. Stringfellows. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Peter Stringfellow. London. Yeah. Rhino, Rhino is that one? Experiment Rhino. That's what I'm thinking. Where is what about Neville Neville? Gary and Phil Neville. (laughs) He is actually called that. I know know you think I'm making that up. Great strip club. Gary and Phil Neville. That's called Neville Neville. That's true. (laughs) That's that's like RIP. RIP. Is he dead? Yeah, he he died in uh, He died in Australia (laughs) watching uh, their sister playing netball for England. Yep. Oh god. That's uh, her China China. (laughs) (laughs) Neville Neville in China China. 
Yeah, I, I can't imagine <laughs> anyone at this table is up for going to a strip club and enjoying nah. it. Don't I'd hate us. that. Nah. I've never been. I, I've been I, three times. It took me the third to realize I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> So I really that, made, that makes it sound like you fucking overdraft. I made sure. That makes it sound like you get fucked out for touching the first time. That's what that's <laughs> the, right. the, the third one I just the buffet though. <laughs> <laughs> the third one, right? Please. We can't get the chef to take his top off. I saw a pot in the lasagna. I'm a, what can I say? I'm a thigh man. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's in there getting the lap dance for a pasta salad. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney's up on stage. Karen's like, eh, stinking. <laughs> Imagine uh, booing at a strip club. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh. Oh, that is like so it. funny. You're just front row at a strip club with a wee pack of digestives. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Next I, 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 one. I, 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 yeah, these is too much. Yeah. When's a stripper on? Who? <laughs> 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 she doesn't want the... She's crying. Oh. <laughs> She's filming her set. <laughs> and <laughs> and <laughs> <subtitles> <laughs> strippers doing crowd work. Oh strippers doing crowd work. I would go see that. Yeah. <laughs> I would go see strippers doing crowd work. <laughs> that's that's the name of a great Edinburgh show. Strippers doing crowd strippers work. Strippers doing crowd work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. Have you ever been to one? No. No. I, think I, I, I don't want to take you just because I know you'd hate it. Oh, it I, is terrible. It's so bad. Full like. spectrum warrior. And I do mean that. Do you know? Do you know what I think's weird? Sitting there. With a load of other lads and yeah. everyone's Uncle Victor is there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you want to pay eighty quid? We all go get hard in a room and can't do anything about it. That's yeah. really weird. Also, like, I, I just think it's, it's, it's not so much that it's also you, demeaning to women. It's also weird that people like it's, it's even that you, you, you get to the thought of going, and we can't do anything about it because then that's like. Well, you could stay in the house and get hard and do something about yeah, it. Yeah, you're sick. Yeah. No. No, you know what I mean. No. This guy's just, just drunk. He's got a bone. Take him out. 10 4, 10 4. We got a root in the. Holy <laughs> will Uncle Victor in the lobby. We've got an Uncle Victor in the lobby. <laughs> Getting kicked out there like you fucking creepy bastard. <laughs> Quick, send out the anti Viagra. <laughs> Some dog crosshead comes out, softens the room. <laughs> I went to Hooters whenever I was 11 and thought I would love it. And I was so uncomfortable that I was really sad. Can I tell you? We yeah. just came what back is, from Canada. What is Hooters? McCarney was wings. gasping to go to Hooters. By the way! I don't know what it is. What's Hooters? Do they do wings? That, of course, that's what you focus on. No, what true. are they doing? No, he's right. I know they do it, but I'm going to say a lot I don't of people, know what it is. I'm going to say there's not a lot of people go there and go, I like the wings. The tits are a byproduct. You know what I mean? It's essentially waitresses all have big boobs. Big boobies. Ken, no, Ken, yes, tag man here. Tag man. The wings are very good. <laughs> hang on a wee second. The wings are actually hang on, hang on a wee second. I thought it was called Hooters because of like the bird's wings and they're gonna like... So do you think it was an orange <laughs> thing? <laughs> I've never been to it. We never went to it when I was in America. Because <laughs> you're hardly gonna go to your wife, Joe, and go to the big tin anymore. <laughs> So, they're, so they walk around with their tits the out? Do you think people love the wings? Hold on. Like it's this. a restaurant where they walk around with their tits out? Is that what it is? <laughs> Not tits out. They're like, I gotta, I gotta go to the toilet. Can you get my raincoat? Tight, tight shirts. <laughs> tight, tight oh, shirts. so it's like, uh, like it's, that sounds sleazy as fuck. Why would you go yes, there? Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, don't, I like, uh, I like my tits. Don't want to be sleazy about it. Though. Yeah, it's not a first date spot. <laughs> no, but like you could. The one in Canada you, was sad. No, but you, you could essentially, you could essentially. See, that's weird. How's that? What's the interview process there? Well, I think, it, I think it's big, and can I, you carry it? I don't think a lot of it's criteria. Hands and tits. I don't think a lot of it's verbal based. The interview. I think it's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, Cinderella, you've an impressive CV, but we think you have a distinct lack of passion for a culinary. <laughs> and and and. Here, could you? There's someone like the boys coming in here today. <laughs> well, imagine, you imagine if you were, imagine McCoy's you were, room? imagine you were going for an interview there, and they said you were sweet. This is like what would happen if we both went for a job in Hollister. You'd get hired, and you'd be out in the fucking tills, and I'd be shoveling shit in the back. So, like, imagine it. What do you think Hollister <laughs> did? No, <laughs> no, but anything, any stock room. You don't want to be in the stock room. Like, like I'm saying, this is like. Anywhere that judges people by their appearance, like that's weird to me. That's how I discovered I was a monther. I went to Alistair with two of my mates, and they both got offered jobs. And then the girl just like walked right past me. 
And I was like, I'm, you know, I'm currently a barista here. I'd take it, no bar. But no joy. Smashing beans, though. That's you. First the boy. Now, what's I'd, the... I'd love to see you work in a Hollister. <laughs> sir. Well, sir. <laughs> well, sir. <laughs> Welcome to up here, you can't you? <laughs> now, here's the... What's Just the... Get ready for a shower. What's the... Cool, be well, cool dude. <laughs> How do you... <laughs> Cowabunga, boy. <laughs> I don't have a cow. I do have 12. Turf's up. <laughs> Turf's up. <laughs> Turf's up. <laughs> yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yes, guy. <laughs> Turfs up. <laughs> like with death. Uh, oh, mate, that's fucking wild. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how that works then as a business. Hooters. Uh, yeah, because this is like tits. See, I'm well pay money. And wings. No, but if you want tits and wings. Equals. Hold on. So it's a restaurant. <laughs> Have you to pay in to the restaurant? No, 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 no right. No, no. <laughs> Right, and then no, but this is my theory on this. If anyone See, tuning in now, they'll be like, "This man has obviously just come from outer space." No, listen, <laughs> listen, I'm having a very weird day here. My brain's all. Men will list. pay to look at food. I've had, about, I've had about, I've had about five big tits. hours sleep. Regular what? restaurant plus big tits. Right, but this is the thing. You could, you could, one, one could do that as a restaurant manager if one wanted to, without could making, it, without making that the theme of the restaurant, making it the theme is sleazy. Is it or is it is it nobody or or is it let, right? But here's my right. So, but do you think you'd be sitting there and be like, "Is a real coincidence? No. Everyone's here is packing apps." Please, 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 yes, because please listen, please let me say this. But <laughs> here's the two options: you have the Hooters no, option, which you you can have the Hooters option, which from what you're saying is here's a restaurant that openly markets itself as all our all our waiting staff have big diddies, right? Does. Or you could be you could be a restaurant. Who hires all your waiting staff that have big ditties and never mention it? What's sleazier? To mention it and market it? Yes. Yeah. Or to go, everybody in here has. No, I think to not mention it is way sleazier. It's sleazier. Yeah, That's yeah. what I mean because there's. So maybe you are better off. Maybe you're better off just not hiring people based on the size of their tits. I feel this is going to end with you going, tomorrow go to Hooters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say this. I'd prefer to go somewhere and get wings. Like, I might go to, tri I might go to Tribal Burger. Go to tribal. You can get you wings there. Oh, I tried with no burger. So like, it's fucking good gear. Hmm? It's closed down, it. isn't it? It's, no. What? No. no. It's moved. It's moved. Thing. Botanic? No, Botanic. Yeah, it's closing down. No, it isn't. I could be wrong. I'm I had the other week, and I had it in bed. I was there outside it yesterday, just pawing the no, glass. No, I was at uh, Hotel. Is no, high Hotel. Right. I booked it across the road. Well, uh, sorry to throw a... Sorry, high uh, Hotel is a place you can stay. So you just offer rooms and, it, and but, it, sleep but is it a house? That's sleazy. <laughs> or is it? No, there's a tree in the bar, though. A big tree. If you could make your themed restaurant right, In Botanic, it used to be... Did you stay in? Oh, you, you used to there? be... Yeah, I stayed there. Morrison's? Hey, tell no, you what, no. price, the hotel prices in Belfast, oh, all the dogs. What did you used to call that place? Not Morrison's, what did you used to call it? The Gamble M. That what? hotel. What? No. That hotel, house what? hotel, used to be... Oh... It used to be called something Fuck, else. Fuck, I know this. They used to do a great cocktail. It's not Morrison's. It Morrison. no, no, Morrison's was the bar. Uh, Fuck. Uh, it used to be unbelievable me. cocktail hour. <laughs> Hooters. <laughs> it used to be Hooters. Uh, big botanic daddies. Well, if you could open up a restaurant. Madison's! Fuck. That's why I Dan. That's why I Dan. Sorry, yes, we do need to wrap us up. No, keep Dan, going. That's, that's redemption for Dan. Stop slagging him off. Um, Are so, people doing that? Oh, Fuck hugely. Sick. So, um, anything you just want to plug, uh, comedy wise, before you go? I'm on tour in November and December. I'm also doing the Waterfront Hall on the 13th of December, the Millennium Forum on the 14th of December. Please, please buy tickets. Let's go. No, no, I'm, ju I'm, just, I'm just here, lads. I'm just here. Check out Chains SSE shows. And. I had none to plug. Oh, he's just but it was a, I'd like to plug the time I had here. Do you know what? Let's plug this friends. friendship with a couple of Uncle Victors. <laughs> what, if, <laughs> what if the real plug was the friends made along the way? Yeah. Oh, oh, unbelievable. Oh what a great time. Thanks very much for being here. Thanks for stepping in. No Loved problem. It. Great times. We'll, uh, we'll see you in the next one. I don't know which camera look at. It's been a lot of fun. Bye. R.I.P. Neville Neville. <laughs> Oh, no.